Hey everyone, Zach here from Mac. We got another video for you guys today. So we got this mail-in. It's a A1708 MacBook, and the A1708 model is the one that doesn't have the touch bar. It's a 2017 MacBook, so it's a little bit older. So this one's in here for a repair. We got this one mailed into us. We're located right outside of DC. We're in Alexandria, which is in Northern Virginia. And we take mail-ins um, as well as walk-ins as well. We have all of our contact in, in the description below if you guys are interested in sending us a MacBook for repair or doing data recovery service because we also do hard drives, data recoveries, and all the fun things, as well as data recoveries on MacBooks themselves. Let's see what is going on to it. Uh, if I can get my adapter here. So I have a USB-C tester, and what this is gonna do is we're gonna have, go ahead and plug it in, because this we need to see what's happening to the MacBook, right? So if we plug it in, we see we're getting about 20 volts. Let me go upside down. I think the button work? Oh, the button does work, okay. So if I plug it in, I flip it up, there we go. So we're getting about 20 volts, but you see the amps next to it is very low. It's going up very slowly. Um, so our voltage looks to be fine, which is our 20, so we get about 20 volts. And our amp is, is our current. That amps is going up, so usually about 1.7, 1.8 is probably what we should be looking for. And that's with like a battery connected. Um, that should be okay. Usually if a battery isn't connected, maybe sometimes you get 0 0.79, 0 0.8, depends on it. Um, these models don't require a battery to be connected, but some do, especially like the 15 inch and 16 inch usually do. Um, depends on the model. Let's go ahead. Uh, we're probably gonna need to open it up then take a look and see what's going on inside. Okay, and inside we get the treasure, which is the Mac. It looks very clean. Maybe some of the connections might be a little bit lifted up with the tape or something. I also did notice maybe that this has been opened maybe for a screen or something because this little piece is missing. So maybe it was open before. So even the white spots here look to be fine, which is our, usually our liquid indicators. They don't look to be impacted there, but you really never know. So let's go ahead and remove the board and then we'll take a look at it a little bit further. So we're gonna have our power input is right here. You can see that's the, those are the two USB-C connections. Let's plug it in first. Let's see what happens. Let's see if we can get something isolating. And we usually what you want is you want to check out uh, where the power is coming in. The other side at least would be one of the CD32s. Now you're always going to see this happen as a minimum is one of the CD32 that's going to be getting a little bit warm, which is your USB-C charging circuit. Because if I unplug it and I plug it somewhere else, Right, it's going to be doing the other CD32 because when you have these Macs, especially with the char USB-C charging circuits, you're going to see um, the USB-C uh, circuit get a little bit warm. That usually means that that is, could be healthy. Most of the time that's the case for them. Other times it cannot be, uh, not all the time, but it depends. But that looks normal. Otherwise, if there's a problem, it might flicker, it might do something else. But we are getting pretty normal activity, at least from when you plug it in. So that's where our circuit starts. So let's see if there's anything crazy. Let me check around this area. It's did for a second. And if I unplug it, the usual way you can do it is you can see now it's getting a little bit brighter. But if I unplug it, then it should completely go out, which it is. And if I plug it back in, it's going to brighten up. So we're going to take a look mainly at this area over here. Uh, we'll go under the microscope because I don't see anything else. Let's go ahead and see if we can take a look at uh, this area a little bit further and see if there's anything obvious there. So we're taking a look at the board. We don't see anything that's very obvious, like any type of liquid spills or any other type of physical damage here, like any other type of burns. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at what this area is. So it's the U6990 is your main area here. And what this component does, this is your 3v3 regulator. That doesn't seem to really be the issue because the main uh, problem that we're having is with our diode, which is the D6905. And we're going to need to be replacing this one because we've seen this before. We worked on this board and we're very familiar with this. So let's go ahead, just replace it. We're going to go ahead and test out the voltages after that. So now what we're going to be doing is just uh, removing it. And we're going to be using some flux and some hot air where it comes up. It's no problem. Uh, whenever you have any of these type of diodes, you want to make sure that the solder is actually perfect so there's no other issues. So we can add some extra ones on there and put it on so it gives for a really nice connection. And even the hot air sometimes isn't good enough because uh, you can still have issues if it's not perfectly soldered correctly. So we could also use the hot iron while we're doing this as well. That's going to make sure the solder, everything, and the connection is perfect. So we're going to clean it up. We have our diode replaced, and let's go ahead and see if it works. So we did a fix. Let's go ahead and put it back. All right, so let's go ahead and test it out. Let's go lift it up. Let's see what we're getting here. Plug it in. Five. Let's go to twenty point four. Looks good. The fan spinning. 
we should get a logo, looks like. This one has an SSD already. We plugged in the SSD, so it should boot um, right to it. There you go, there's your Apple logo. And no firmware to worry about, nothing else. So there you go, we got an OS, so it looks to be good. So anyways, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video on doing the repair on the uh, MacBook Pro, this A1708 model, the one that does have a removal SSD. It's good for this one, no firmware to worry about, no T2, um, no other security that would prevent this from powering on. If you guys are interested in one of those type of videos, you should go ahead and check out the, the newer ones that we make for like the M1s, the M1 Pros, uh, the M2s, and lots of other ones that cover data recovery as well as repair. That's also working with firmware if you guys are interested in that. Check those out, because they're pretty cool. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, please leave a like, it really does help us a lot. If you guys are local to the area, we're right outside of uh, Washington, D.C. and Alexandria, Virginia. We do uh, walk-ins as well as melon repairs. If, if you guys are interested in that, go ahead and check out our links in the description down below for contact information and for our website. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Take care, bye.